Hello and welcome to an Eighth is Interesting, where we stay true to our Wikipedia roots, but are generally worse and less popular. Wikipedia once accidentally blocked an entire country from editing. I am, of course, not talking about any of the many times a country has blocked Wikipedia altogether, nor am I referring to the time editing was partially blocked in the UK after the Internet Watch Foundation had added it to its blacklist. To explain how this could occur, we first need to go over how the internet actually works. Well, okay, 100% of the information I know about the internet is Wikipedia and Homestuck, so I'm just going to explain only the parts that are relevant here. You have IP addresses, and they either look like this or this. In 2006, they pretty much only look like this, though. IP addresses are similar to mailing addresses, except instead of routing IRL mail, they route email and other internet traffic. Sometimes a whole group of computers might share an IP address, like how multiple apartments can be located at the same street address. Internet service providers, ISPs, are generally the ones responsible for assigning individual IP addresses. For some reason, an ISP in Qatar called Qtel decided, hey, Instead of assigning a bunch of different external IP addresses, let's route all of our traffic through a single proxy IP address. And nobody said, hey, don't do that. That might lead to a lot of problems by creating a single point of failure for the entire network. And instead, they said, I am seeing no problem with this. There is no way this will go wrong. Everything is looking good here. Nothing bad will happen if we do this. No siree, all good. The major problem was in 2006, Qtel, which was later rebranded as Uredu, probably saying that wrong, was the only ISP based in Qatar. <laughs> this meant effectively all of Qatar was sharing a single IP address, 82.148.97.69. Nice. Meanwhile, on Wikipedia, some random person decided, hey, look at all those pages over there. I'm gonna go vandalize them. And they vandalized a bunch of pages. Since they didn't have an account, the responding administrator simply blocked the IP address. As you can probably guess if you've been following everything correctly, the IP address in this case was 82.148.97.69. Nice. Otherwise known as all of Qatar's internet at the time. It's, it's hard for me to say that without laughing. According to the signpost, Wikipedia's internal newspaper record, this led to a bit of a media circus. Initial media reports indicated that the entire country had been banned despite it only being a temporary block. Of course, if your whole thing is that you're the collaborative encyclopedia that anyone can edit, then having the entire country blocked still kind of betrays your branding there. Therefore, shortly after the block was placed, roughly 28 and a half hours, the IP was unblocked with valuable lessons learned. We would never block Qatar slash the IP address 82.148.97.69. Nice. Again. Just ignore this other time when Qatar was blocked. And this other time. And this other time. And this one other time. Oh, and that was that time too. Yeah. Uh, okay, maybe lessons weren't actually learned after all. But hey. That was a long time ago, and I'm sure nothing like that would ever happen now. Oh, well. I guess you should just make an account. Whoa, stick around! Statistically, everybody drops off of this part. I have no idea why. You're probably not subscribed. You need to change that. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers by July. This was really fun. I've always enjoyed HAI videos, watch them every week. And this gave me a lot more of appreciation for what probably goes into them. So I know this is a shorter video, but I can't extend the concept beyond three minutes. So stuck with that. Also, I'm sorry, Lemon Snot wasn't in this. They'll be back next week though. All right, I won't waste any more time. Uh, if you wanna watch the rest of the videos in this series by clicking the button on the screen, bye.